hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel again if this is your first time watching a video on this channel i want to kindly encourage you and strongly encourage you and to motivate you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button because what the subscribe button does is that it makes you part of this family and turning on the notification bell icon is going to give you the access to always get our video notification at the right time so you can get the information very very early ahead of order so as a rock shake as tenable family allegedly collects three billion bribe over power appointment see what happened next okay so in a shocking revelation mr jackson ude a former aide to ex-president good luck jonathan and an independent journalist has leveled serious allegation against the family of president bola Ahmed tinubu the allegation made public on a post on twitter and cited by the reputed you know and research actually made have sent ripple across the political landscape so according to ude three months after allegedly paying a staggering sum of three billion in bribe to member of the tinubu family including the first lady remy tinubu shei tinubu iyabo tinubu and several other presidential aides chief dennis otworo has yet to receive his official appointment letter as the administ administrator of the presidential amnesty program which is pap the allegation implied a disturbing trend of corruption and influence peddling at the highest level of government the gravity of the accusation deepens as ude implicates ajuri ingelali the presidential spokesman alleging that he pocketed millions of naira to facilitate the announcement of Ot Otwaro's appointment in March 2024 through a press statement. This, suggest this suggests a systematic issue of corruption within the corridors of powers where individuals entrusted with public trust are allegedly engaging in self-serving activities at the expense of ed ethnical governance. In Nigeria, we have very, very bad political leaders, okay? So it's one of the problems we are facing right now. And because we are having a bad political leader because of the people in Nigeria also, because when it is time for election, everybody has this mentality. Most people, I think I'm not one of them. Most people have this mentality that they want to actually vote for their own person. You see the Alsa will be voting for an Alsa contestant in the election. The boss will be going for the Ebos. The Yoruba will be going for the Yoruba. So, this has showed the political leaders that these people are not matured enough. So, they tend sometimes, some of them tend to use money to confuse people from other tribes again to come to their side. So, by the time they do all this, they wait, they use a lot of money. And when they get into post, we will not start expecting them to start, you know, building roads and doing everything. No. The next thing they will start doing is to get their money back, you know, to get their funds, to get their investment back. And most of them spent, they spent some time, almost billions, millions. And before they could accumulate that, we will start complaining that uh, this person is not doing well because we fail to vote for somebody who is willing to help us, you understand? So, despite the absence of an official appointment letter, Otwaro populated, assumed is duties signing documents attending events and enjoying the perks associated with his position on the head of the pub this revelation raised serious question about the legitimacy of his actions and the extent to which corruptions has you know permitted the fabric of governance otwaro's case is not a isolated incident as ude alleged that he is one of the many politician appointees of Bola Ametinabu who purportedly had to pay exorbitant sum of aids and intermediaries to secure political position. This paints a grim picture of a political landscape where meritocracy and integrity are sacrificed at the altar of tourism and financial dispute so i like i just said you know we tend to say that election is free and fair in nigeria it's a lie it's not free and fair 
there's a lot of commission corruption going on now what he's trying to see here so i want you guys to go ahead to hit the subscribe button and also share your opinion in the comment section see you in my next video